Hi all, welcome to Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. So today in this video, I'm going to share one interview question, and this question is asked by one of our viewer in the interview, and I found this question a interesting one. So would like to share with you all guys also. So here is the, is the question. So how we can bypass the validations rule and the automations while performing the bulk DML operations? okay so like suppose there is an object and on this object multiple validation rules are created and the automations like the process builder flows workflows are also created on the same object and on the same object i want to if i want to perform a data loading or if a batch class is running on the daily basis and in this batch class dml is also performed on the records so at this time, I don't want my validations or the automations to run. So I want to bypass them or avoid them. So why? Why? Because they might be possible like while performing the DML operations in some of the automation might be some email is firing. And if it and if it, if while performing the DML operation, if the condition meet and it might shoot email to the user. So which is unnecessarily a mail will send which is unnecessarily a mail will send to the user so i want to avoid all these things so so there are two ways so first is we can manually activate and deactivate all the automations and the validations rule okay so here first thing this will be a manual process and a time taking process and a business require a downtime here as we will first we will going to deactivate them and then we will going to perform uh, our valid DML operation. So in this time period, until I reactivate all the automations or the validations, uh, the user should uh, on the back user should not allow to perform any task in the Salesforce. So if you are ready for this downtime, then you are okay to go with this approach. But again, all companies are not okay with the downtime and also not have this much of time to reactivate and activate them uh, to activate and reactivate them again. So this might be avoided. So, so the next second approach come is using the custom setting and in this custom setting we will going to use hierarchical type of custom setting okay so in this hierarchical type of custom setting we will get an option to select the users or the profiles to which we want to check or which we want to use them okay so here these custom setting hierarchical type of custom setting are created at the org level and these are overridden at the profile and the user level permission so here what we will do in this custom setting we will select a user okay or we can select the profiles okay then what will happen for if we select the profile then all the users with this profile can perform the dml operation and the we can avoid our validation rules to fire and if i want only for the particular user to avoid these validation rule and the automations then we can only select a single user in this custom setting while creating it so what we will do we will create like support so what we will do we will create a hierarchical custom setting in this we will going to select a user and we will create a checkbox here now we will going to use this custom setting in our validations rule and the automation and we'll check the value here if it is true okay and if the user is here and the user is same then it will going to execute the validations rule and if it is if the checkbox is and if the value of checkbox is false then they will not going to fire okay so the so now the user can easily perform or run the batch classes or run the apex classes and perform the mass dml operations and all the automations on the backend will going to check the value for this hierarchical type of custom setting if it is true it will going to fire and if it is false it will automatically going to bypass okay so so if you guys want any demo video on this, do let me know. I will upload next the demo video on this radical custom setting. Okay, so you, if you guys have any query, do let me know in the comment section. So we'll meet you soon in the next video.